Hello, my name is Miklos Fodor, and I'm presenting the repeated rapid restructuring paradigm in a series of, of chapters. And uh, in this chapter, I would like to uh, introduce the notion of nested hierarchies. Hierarchies. What is a quite common concept, but it's very important for understanding the, the future chapters and future ideas. The nested hierarchy it means that something is built from uh, similar subsystems. For example, an organ is a living uh, system and it's built from living systems, uh, namely the cells. And the human being or an animal is also a living system and is built by organs. And um, a society can be treated also as a living system which is built by human beings. This idea was promoted by a scientist, a biologist called James Craig Miller, who wrote a book called Living System Survey as you can read the details on, on the Wikipedia, uh, you will see that he has identified different similarities between all living systems, saying all, all the cell is, the, the cell, the person uh, has uh, uh, processors of matter and energy and processors of, of information in the same you can find in all living systems. And if you are at the Wikipedia, let's see how they visualize the nested hierarchies. It is visualized by the Matryoshka dolls, Russian uh, children toy, uh, where you open a, a puppet and you find another puppet in it, making the, the kids happy. Even if it's a very funny uh, issue, the nested hierarchies are uh, some, some, some different. Uh, nested hierarchies are, are not like this, meaning that, that not one you find in it. If you take the, the example of Miller, the cells, then some cells arrange themselves in, into uh, organs, other, other organs, and these organs will be the person, this one, another one, and these two people together will form a group or a couple. Cognitive schemas that are basic elements of, of, of thinking and have a key role in my psychological theory presented in the, in the book Self-Expansion are, are behaving the same way. There, for example, if you take the, the colors, then the colors can be split into dark colors and uh, uh, light colors, dark colors, uh, into dark green and you can find uh, on an even lower level the specific dark green color, um, say this one here. So everything can be uh, split at a uh, lower and lower level. It's, it's often uh, visualized also with the pyramid, where on a very basic level you can find uh, many uh, building elements and uh, as you go on higher and higher level you find less. Another system, uh, a survey approach that is promoted the, the, the same nested hierarchies is uh, Mr. Vilmos Chinese Hungarian uh, biologist book who, who had an excellent uh, 
scientific performance on proving or identifying a principle that, uh, that both explains how the first living creature has evolved thousands or hundred thousands of years ago, the first bacteria. And the same principle applies how society has evolved from soul people and they have gathered into groups and also uh, the, the whole evolution is explained by, by one, one principle and it's, it's the theory is very has very secure basis is described also a formal mathematic language at the end of the book and is um, is used in um, throughout the system theory although as it's a type of big picture approach uh, it's not that very uh, widespread thank you very much for your attention and please uh, hopefully positively if you have liked this uh, this chapter of the series that makes me motivated to, to continue my work and upload uh, further chapters on this for this series thank you once again